Hi guys, in today's video we're going to be taking a look at some brand new Dungeons & Dragons paint sets from the Army Painter. But first of all I want to say a huge thank you to the Army Painter for sending me out these box sets for review. As you can see here I'm showing you the paintbrush set which contains a dry brush, a detail brush and a base coating brush. Now we're having a look at Nizal's Marvelous Pigments Adventurer set. And as you can see this set contains 10 paints and a little handy guide how to paint uh, Minsk and Boo from this box set. You also get a starter brush in here. As you can see here. Paints come in very handy dropper bottles and the lids are colour coded. The white lids are the paints, red lids are for washes and black lids are for metallics which is a really handy um, design feature on these dropper bottles. Here I'm showing you the different colours that are in this set. Later on in the video we're going to be doing a painting tutorial on the monster paint set Owlbear. So stay tuned to the end of the video and we'll teach you how to paint an old bear to a really pleasing tabletop standard very easily. This is the miniature that's included in the Adventurer set, it's Minx and Blue and as you can see it's got wonderful detail and even the base has got really nice sculpted design on it. Now we're going to take a look at the monster paint set and this really is a monster set guys. It contains 36 paints and I'm not going to show you every single paint in this box set but what I will do I'll show you the paints that are included in this set so if you pause the video you can see each colour that's included in the set. As we open the box we can see how the paints are lovely laid out in these blister um, packs and the paints are stored really handily in these blister packs so painting uh, from these uh, paint holders is really handy. And here you can see the awesome Owlbear, I'm a huge fan of this miniature and I didn't do it in this video but on my Facebook page I put Minsk and Boo next to the Owlbear and you can see the huge difference in size. This is such a cool model. As promised guys, now we're going to paint the Owlbear. First of all we're going to use Minotaur Hide to base coat the Owlbear. As you can see the paint goes on absolutely beautifully. I thinned it down with just a little water and as you can see it coats really well. Don't worry if you get this paint on some of the claws or some of the uh, beak or other features that aren't meant to be painted this colour as when we actually come to paint them later on in the tutorial we'll be able to touch them up with the correct colours. Now we're going to use Owlbear Brown to paint some of the 
mud and dirt on the bottom of the base. dungeon stone is going to be painted onto all of the rocks on the base Fire Newt Orange is going to be painted onto the eyes and onto the beak of the owlbear. You're probably going to need about two to three layers to get a really bright vibrant yellow colour onto the um, eyes and beak.
goblin skin is going to be painted on the flesh areas of the claws. Pixie dust pink is going to be painted onto the tongue inside the mouth of the owl bear. Orc skin is going to be painted on the chest area and the owl bear. And we're going to make a little pattern that ends in like a triangular shape. So we start with a point at the very top of the beak, or bottom of the beak I should say, and then we're going to come out wide towards the bottom of the chest area. Once the paint had thoroughly dried, about 20 minutes after applying it, we're now going to shake the brainwash vigorously to make sure that it doesn't dry with a gloss varnish uh, finish. And we're going to apply it all over the owl bear. Shadow wash is going to be painted on the chest area of the owl bear and also on the rocks on the base and the claws. Flesh wash is going to be painted on the claw areas of the owl bear.
forgive the pronunciation of this paint pause, but I believe it's Ot U Brown, and we're going to dry brush it on the miniature. This is a special technique, and we're going to use a special dry brush that's included in the three paint brush set from the Army Paints, a Dungeons and Dragons set. Now, because it's flat bristle brush, what we do is we dip the end in a little bit of paint, we remove most of the paint on some paper towel, and then we lightly brush over the surface of the miniature, and this will catch all of the high details, and it will really make the miniature pop and come alive. Gelatinous blue is going to be painted on the grey areas of the chest and it's also going to be dry brushed onto the claws and as you can see I'm very careful not to get the gelatinous blue on much of the brown fur and keep it to the grey areas of the fur. We're going to finish off by adding a decorative touch to the base using Army Painters Wasteland Tufts. These are sticky on the backs of the tufts, so you literally place them on the base and they'll stick straight onto it. And here we have our finished owlbear. I absolutely love this miniature and I love the beastly size of it. It was so simple and fun to paint and as I say guys this is a very simple straightforward tutorial that hopefully every single person that's watched this video can follow along the simple instructions and get the same results that I've done on this owlbear. I want to lastly say a huge thank you once again to the Army Painter for sending me out the paint sets for review. Please check the description box down below, you'll find a direct link to their web store where you can find these products and even more great products from their ranges. And thank you very much for taking the time out of the day to watch this video guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.